Hey writer friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how to get your first 100 email list subscribers. If you're new here, my name is Holly. I'm a writer aspiring to be a published author. If you haven't already, please show your support by giving this video a big thumbs up and click subscribe to support my channel and ring that bell so you don't miss any videos. So we all know how important an author's platform is in the hopes of selling books and reaching new readers. One of the best ways to do that is with an author website and an author newsletter. I have a video all about what to include in an author newsletter, so I will link that down below. But the problem comes in, how do you get the readers to subscribe in the first place? And that's where newsletter freebies or newsletter incentives come in handy. And I know you may be thinking, I don't have a book out yet. Why do I need subscribers to my email list? Why do I need a newsletter? All of these things. Well, if you gain this following now, when your book does come out, you're going to have so many more people following you and you're already going to have this strong platform that you can promote your book to. So by offering valuable free incentives for signing up for your newsletter, you're going to hook your ideal reader. So a lot of authors will offer the first one to three chapters of their novel if you sign up for their newsletter. But many of us are not published yet, we don't have a book out, and we don't have those first couple chapters to give to someone. So today I'll be sharing with you 10 newsletter incentive ideas to gain newsletter subscribers and readership. So even if you don't have your book out yet, you can still write a novella or a short story that you can give to the readers and that's going to help them see how strong your writing is and it's going to pull them into your writing right away so that when your book does come out they know what to expect and they are excited about your writing. I think I forgot to say number one but this is number two are any sort of character art, character bios, Pinterest boards, things that show what the world and the characters are about that will get them excited about your manuscript even if they don't really know everything that it's about they can kind of get these sneak peeks and that is super exciting. Incentive number three is a collection of your favorite writing tips. So a lot of our readers are also writers and this can help draw those readers in because they are also trying to improve their craft and want to learn from you. Speaking of which, if you guys don't know, I have my own newsletter incentive and as well as a whole members page and you can find that linked down below. I have editing checklists, beta reader checklists, and a ton of free content. So please check that out and subscribe at hollydavisbooks.com. And also it would be super exciting if you aren't subscribed to subscribe already because I come out with my newsletters quarterly and so it's been a couple months but tomorrow I'm actually dropping my newsletter so you don't want to miss all the exciting news, things that's happening both in my real life and writerly life so you don't want to miss it. Okay so the fourth newsletter incentive is a private Facebook or Discord group. So this is great if you want to get a close-knit group of readers and writers. These readers you can talk about you know whatever genre your book is in, you can have like a reading club, you can do writing sprints, the possibilities are endless. Tip number five is okay maybe your book isn't out yet but especially if you're self-publishing, it will be out. So maybe you can give some sort of sneak peeks or even a prologue type chapter that you can reveal to them or some sort of backstory. Or if you've written any writing prompts where you've written like a kind of throwaway scene or something just to get into the character's head, but it actually is really good or kind of like a deleted scene, you can include those. So again, they can start to familiarize themselves with your writing and your world and already be excited about it when the book does come out. Incentive number six is a Spotify or um, writing playlist. So I love when writers include a list of songs that go with the book. It kind of makes me think like it's like a movie soundtrack and which is like super cool. Who doesn't want to think that? But it also kind of sets the tone and the mood for the book and like once you read the book and then you go back and listen to the music like it just is so uh, it just like tugs at your heartstrings. So I love the atmosphere that a playlist will create. So even if you can't read the book, you can get a feel for it from the music. Tip number seven is to include an exclusive interview or podcast episode, anything where you're talking more in like audio form, where you're sharing any tips and tricks, sharing 
what happened in your life to bring you to where you are, sharing your writing routine or how you revise your manuscript, just anything where you're sharing tips and tricks and get giving your readers kind of like an inside scoop. Number eight is something super fun, and this is an interview not with yourself, but with your main character. Again, this is a way to draw readers in because they get to know your characters before they even read about them. So that's something super fun. I always love when people talk about like what would be your character's like favorite Starbucks drink. So you can do something fun like that, but even really diving deep into that character. And along that having maybe like a character art or something so they have a visual to connect that character to. Number nine, if your readers are also writers, you can give them like tips on how to write more. If they're readers, you can give them tips on how to read more. I actually have both of those in my members page if you sign up, um, but something where it can cater to both. So that's another thing to think about with these incentives is, is this gonna cater just to writers? Is this gonna cater just to readers? Or is it gonna include both? Or maybe you have a couple different options. So this is one way to do that. Maybe that's including the same books that you like to read and in the same genre that you're writing in. But then for the writers, you're also including, you know, maybe something about writing craft that is involved. And lastly, number 10 is a percentage or discount off of any services that you offer. So a lot of us writers also have other side jobs. We are writing coaches, we have editing services, all of those things, book cover design, There's the list goes on and on. And so as an incentive for signing up for your newsletter, they can get a discount on some of those services which they might be interested in. Let me know if you guys have a newsletter and if you do have incentives or freebies, what they are, because I'm trying to like expand you know, beyond the kind of normal everyday ones that people would choose, um, there are so many ways to go. So all in all, from having your newsletter incentive, you can gain those 100 email list subscribers super quickly and start to build your readership and your following. I hope you found these tips helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.